All right, guys. Well, we came offshore. And we're, you know, we tried inshore most of the day. We tried for bull sharks, didn't catch anything. We tried for triple tail, didn't catch anything. Figures, a beautiful day like this, and just can't get the fish to bite. So we came offshore here. We're on a local reef, and we're gonna do now. We're gonna do a saltwater panfish episode. So this is gonna be episode three of the saltwater panfish, and we're gonna be looking for grunts, big pig fish, lane snapper. You know probably not mango snapper because they're a little bit too big to do a panfish thing with them but we'll see what happens and hopefully hopefully oh. we'll catch something oh babe's hooked up right now <laughs> Someone's hooked up with something good, I think. I don't think that's a grunt. It may be. It feels like a grunt. If it's a grunt, it's a big grunt. It's a porgy. I don't know. It's a big pig fish. That is a huge that's pig fish. Giant. <laughs> that is a giant pig fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that pig fish, guys. <laughs> Can we eat it? Yeah, we're gonna do yeah. we'll do a saltwater panfish with this pig oh, fish. Look at the size of that pig fish. Well, I did put a whole, I put like two whole shrimp on it. Wow. All right guys, Summer's hooked up with something. Okay. Yeah. A little grunt. A little baby grunt. Let's get one a little bit bigger and we can use them in our pan fish catch and cook. All right guys, Amber's hooked up. That almost looks like it's got the porgy shake kind of or the trigger fish shake. What is that? Another giant pig fish for the catch and cook. Hey, it's hey, hey. Be fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> what size these pig fish? Why are they so big? I don't know, but they are big. Hold that for me, babe. Oh, this boat goes on that. All right, Summer's got something. Wait, can you go over there and look at it? Well, I don't want to ruin our fishing spot, but I think that's an oceanic sunfish. Get him, get him, get him. Another big old giant pig fish. Okay, we're in the giant pig fish. Baby, it's still up. All right, let me get the sun hooked. Well, babe's hooked up again. Oh, Summer's missed. just missed one. This don't feel very big or look very big, does it? What is that? That's a grunt. Summer's hooked up, go ahead. Summer's hooked up. What is yours, Summer? And another grunt. You know what? We'll go ahead and add a couple of these little ones, even though they're smaller. We'll add them to the catch and cook. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. We'll just cook the whole thing whole. Kind of small, though. See that one, babe. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, summer's hooked up. What is it, Summer? What is it? Oh, what is that? That's a blue that's a blue fish. <laughs> blue fish. Get the pig fish up, Summer. Go ahead and unhook him. Put him in the cooler. For our uh, panfish video. All right, guys, Amber's hooked up again. I don't know what it is. That's fighting like a snapper, kind of. Watch out, Summer. No, giant pigfish. Never pigfish. Uh, we'll add him to our pigfish, panfish thing. Panfish, pigfish. All right. Sweet. Big old pigfish. This ain't the biggest one we've caught today, but man, this is. 11 inch pig fish. All right, summer's hooked up, guys. What is that? It's almost acting like a lane. Come on, lane, 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 lane. Up oh, grunt. It's a big old grunt. All right, guys, I'll show you what we're doing. We're just taking live shrimp, popping the tail off, using a one-aught hook, 
on the little fish finder rig. Not using much leader at all, kind of small. And we're just, what, a couple cranks off the bottom? Mm -hmm. Yep. Like one or two cranks off the bottom, and that's what they're doing. And they're killing it. All right. Summer is hooked up again. This don't feel like a real big one there, Summer. No, it does not. Oh, what is this? What spot is tail one? porgy. Because <laughs> right. you look fat. A little spot tail. All right. We've just caught just about everything out here. Cool. These things are awesome eating, by the way. Uh, I think that's just a grunt, Summer. This is the last fish of the day right here. It's a grunt. Aww. I'm gonna throw him in the, oh, let me see it. He's big enough to put in the panfish video. Another fish for a panfish video. Yeah. Aww. Awesome, that's it, we're done. All right, guys, we got all our panfish here for our panfish video. We got some huge pigfish. I mean, look at the size of this pigfish, guys. I mean, this thing is huge. They're all pretty big pigs. We also got some nice little tomate grunts. You can tell it's a tomate by the red mouth. And then we also have a ringtail, also known as a spot tail porgy or spot tail pinfish, ringtail pinfish. We got three different species here. We have already tried some pigfish in a different video, but they were smaller pigfish. We're going to fillet some of these and try the fillets. Probably going to use the uh, grunts hole. We might even fillet this porgy. So let's get cleaning, guys, and let's see what we do here. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fillet this one real big pigfish real quick. Just going to do it the real quick and easy method. It's starting to rain out here on me. And I got the cats here. Decent fillet. And skin it out. to get a good little fillet off this pigfish. There we go, that's a really nice looking fillet. Look at that guys. Pretty fillet on a pigfish. We're gonna fillet out our little ring tail right here. We're gonna do it the same way. Ringtail Porgy's got really nice looking meat as well. Alright, we got our little uh, tomatate grunt here, so we're just going to go ahead and scale it. They obviously scale really easy as you can see. We're going to come through right through here. This, these fins are right here. We're going to go straight down. Just like that. And we're going to open up the belly here. Get all the guts out. Clean all this out. I like cutting these little flaps off, little rib cage flaps. That's just my personal preference. So basically you just have a piece just like that. Go ahead and clean all this up. I got a nice clean scaled fish for the deep fryer. Kind of chunky little fish too. 
This will be the first time that I've ever eaten a tomate grunt. I've heard they're really good, but I have never actually kept any, and I've never actually eaten them. So this will be my first time on the tomates. All right, well, we got all our pan fish clean. We got our three little grunts, our little tomate grunts. Nice little pile of pig fish fillets. I decided to fillet all the pig fish. Then we got our two little uh, ringtail or uh, spot tail porgy fillets. And all in all, it's actually not a bad little yield on nine little fish. It's actually, that's enough to feed a whole family right there. So we're gonna go ahead guys, we're gonna get in the kitchen, and we'll start cooking these up. All right guys, we're in the kitchen. We got my uh, tomate grunt, whole grunts right here. I also got my little spot tail porgy fillets, and then we got all our pig fish fillets right here. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat them real good with the house autry seafood breading. Coat them up just about like that. Get them all nice and coated. We're gonna do the same thing with the fillets. Got my uh, porgy fillet right here. Let's get them all nice and coated. I don't use any dredge. I just use the uh, dry uh, seafood breading. Get them all coated about like that. Wait for the green light on our fryer and we'll get cooking. All right, we got all our pan fish nice and breaded. We got the pig fish and those look really good. And then we also have the tomate grunts or tomatate, tomatates, whatever you want to call them. And our uh, spot tail porgy or ringtail pinfish. We got all that ready to go. Now we're just waiting for that green light on the fryer and we'll be ready to go, guys. All right, guys. Got the green light, the infamous green lights on. So we're going to go ahead and put our whole grunts in first. Just like that. We'll let those go for a little bit, then I'll add in the uh, ringtail pinfish or spot tail porgy. Alright, my uh, Grunts have been cooking for about a minute now, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, porgy. Alright, and let those go for a little while. Probably about two and a half to three minutes, size of these fish, how thick they are. And I'm at 375 degrees to temp on my oil there. Alrighty. Our first little batch is done here. Let them drain a little bit. They look really nice and golden brown, looks really good. All right, so I'll put this out. Go ahead and put my grunts over here. Man, those look good. Look really good. I'm gonna put my uh, porgies over here. We'll just hit it with some salt. All righty, those look awesome. All righty, got our pig fish here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pig fish fillets in here. about six of them in here. There we go. We'll let those cook. Alright guys. Our last batch of pig fish are ready. Alright. So we got all our pan fish done now. Now all I gotta do is just cook some french fries. Alright guys. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, guys, I'll see you on the couch. All right, y'all, got our pan fish all done. We got our, our porgy, our grunt, and our pig fish right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll try the porgy, which I've already done the catch and cook on a porgy before. If you guys have already seen it, you know this fish is really good. It's outstanding. Outstanding fish. Now we'll dry the pig fish, which we've done a pig fish one before too. And we know the pig fish is good, but haven't done a video yet on the big offshore style pig fish. This was caught in 68 feet of water in the ocean. 
That's incredible. Man. It's almost got a sweet taste to it. That's good. Ooh, that's good. All right. Now we got our Tone Take Grunt, which this will be the very first time I have ever eaten one of these. I've never tried one. I've always just used them for bait. So we'll see here. So like pick a piece off here without getting burnt. About like that. Try that. Trying to make a mess. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's got a slight, a little slight fishy taste to it. But I don't mind that at all. So let's try the uh, saltwater potato chip real quick. That's good. Just like a brim or a bluegill. All in all, I'd eat all these fish again. Every one of them. And if you're not able to catch snappers and all this other stuff, and you catch these kind of fish, take them home and eat them. By all rights, they're excellent. They're very good, and there's nothing wrong with them. They're a good fish. They're good eating fish. They're good for the table. And let's face it, we got plenty of them. There's all kinds of pig fish out there, all kinds of ringtails, and all kinds of grunts. So we're not going to hurt the population whatsoever. Well, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys like this panfish series. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep on going with this panfish series. This was episode number three. And we'll get out there and catch some more. Well, guys, I get to see you again here soon on the water. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers. I'll be seeing you all soon. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jerry Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jerry Rockers.